I'm here in the beautiful city of Ulu. I'm here at Bitium. After having had a very big queue at Schiphol Airport to board onto my plane, it took about 40 minutes to get the boarding pass. Went into the plane, had to wait for three quarters of an hour. I lost my flight from Helsinki to Oulu, so I had to take another flight. Before I did that, I went to the lounge, had some drinks, had some food. Then I had to wait for another few minutes at the airport to board the plane to Oulu. Yeah, so that means I'm still waiting on my flight. The flight leaves at 1700 hours, one hour delay. That flight went well, I landed in time, I was picked up by Sini who is the marketing lead here at Bitium. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, thank good you. Good to how see you. you. Yeah, very well, thank you so much. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm good. Yeah, okay. this is Sini. Especially the housing there. And now, as said, I'm here at Bitium. This is the beautiful building of Bitium, very nice architectural design, very nice construction of metal and wood and you haven't seen the staircase yet so follow me on what's happening here at the head office of Bitium in Ulu, Finland. I believe, and I'm not sure, I believe I'm gonna see something new today. So I'll soon find out exactly what kind of secret solution. I'm gonna meet Tavi and I just put them here. Tavi, can I disturb you for a moment? Because sure. I have a question about okay. technology. Sure. If we look at the future trends and areas in technology, mm. what are these according to Bitium? What, what are your ideas about that? Well, in our point of view, they would be cybersecurity, obviously, wireless technologies, digitalization, as well as remote monitoring and analysis of biosignals. Cybersecurity is a big word. Can you give me a little bit more insights on that? Well, cybersecurity has been one of the most intensive research and development topics for us for many years now. We have, for example, participated in several European research collaboration projects, as well as we have been leading a national research program. Okay, and um, when you're leading those kind of programs, was there an outcome on, on those programs? Was there kind of an end result? Lots of research results which we are then later on utilizing in our product development. Okay, product development, so that means new products, new solutions. Um, I guess that is a reason why I'm here, is that That's true? That's true. We have actually something to show to you and I would ask you to visit Harri. Harri, and Harri is... Harri is one stairs up from here. One stairs up from here. That's true. To left, right? Left. Let me go to Harri and he will find, he knows that I'm coming probably, right? He knows that you're coming. Okay, let me see that. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Welcome. Okay, let's find out where Hari is and Hari can give me more details about what's coming up for Bitium. Okay, I'm going into that space and that space is a restricted area. I'm not sure if I... I don't have the code. This is a damn steel door and I think, let me see if I can get in and find Harry. Probably not. Um, wait a minute. Harry, <laughs> Hi. can I pick your brain for a moment? Yeah, sure, can we, sure. Can we do it out there? No, no, no. This is restricted there. This is restricted? Yeah. Um, but that's the one I'm looking for. Yeah, that's right. This, this is, is the Bitium Tough Mobile 2. two. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The brand new phone. The brand new phone not yet released. I'm having one specific question to you. Okay, please do. This phone was good already. The Tough Mobile 1 version. Right. It was flawless. Yeah. Now you're coming with a new version. I don't see any reason to come up with a new version. So why did you produce a new version? Why did you develop that? We developed mobile security solutions and we already have Tough Mobile, which is the uh, most secure uh, smartphone in the, in the world. But then we have the backend systems and we have the mobile VPNs and mobile device management, which is the whole system. And now this is a new device in the system that is compatible with all the back, um, backend systems. But this is more focused on ultra-secure users in government agencies. So this is even more secure. This has really nice look and feel. So it is really easy to combine 
professional life and uh, private life and date. Okay. Well, can I take this one for you for a moment? Can I take the Tough Mobile One yep. version as well? Sure. You have it with you? Yep. Can I? Okay. There you go. Let me let me let me try and find out if that's really true. Tough Mobile version one, Tough Mobile version two, and I need to find a space. I think I'm gonna do that over here, and. I'm not going to compare the two devices together actually, but I just want to take a very sneak peek of this device over here. And by the way, it's not a replacement of Tough Mobile One, it's, it's an add-on to the portfolio of Bitwin. So you see the device over here, that's the one version, this is the two version, and Tiro can tell me more about the details of the Tough Mobile version too. Anyway, it's a sleek design, it's very nice, crafted, and it has a magnesium body. Um, let me find out where Terry is. Let me put these ones in my pocket because nobody's here. And let me go to Terry. And he's going to tell me the details about this very sleek device. <laughs> I just reviewed this device for a few seconds actually. I have it in my hands and I want to know more details about it. Yeah, great. And they told me you're the person who can tell me all about that, right? Yes, absolutely. That, that's true. Absolutely. So first of all, we have a privacy mode button on the device. This is something that you don't see on your regular devices. So what this actually does is that, that you press it and I can actually show it here. So you press it for a second and what happens, it will be on the privacy mode. So in this mode, the device, the microphones will be switched off, the Bluetooth will be switched off, camera will be switched off and the sensor accuracy will be, will be reduced to the level that it really cannot monitor what you are doing. So the point of this mode is that the device cannot uh, spy what the user is doing. And what's really unique about that so is, is that the microphones are actually cut off in the hardware level. So when you press it, the, there's a hardware switch and the processor cannot affect at all on the, on the mic usability. If you don't trust, trust your phone or the applications what they're in, you press it and you cannot be monitored at all. This is one of the unique features what we have here. On the device we have an emergency button, so it's on the top top of the device. So if in a case of emergency you want to want to alert some help, you just press it and, and the device will call to the number or, or send your location information to the to the somebody okay. somebody who can then help you. Okay. Can you program that button with software to have that give it another function? Yes, we have an uh, BTT button and this can be also configured to do some other functionality as well. We've also built a tamper detection inside this device and, and this we've taken a step further. Our device is able to detect if you open it. So it will erase the, the, the encryption keys so the data is useless. This device is able to detect if you open the, the front cover, the display, if you try to take it out, if you try to open the back cover or if you try to open the SIM lock tray. The device will notice that, okay, somebody is trying to tamper with me and take the data out, it will erase it. It will also detect if you try to drill, drill the device. If you try to make a hole it, on it, it will detect that. It's not only a smart device in yeah. software, but it's also yeah. a smart device in hardware. Yes, absolutely. And, and we, under this protection, we have also a second layer of, of tamper detection. So if for some reason you are able to uh, go through these protections. We have also circuit board level protection for the data. So it will detect if somebody tries to uh, gain access to the processor memory or the security chip. So they are under protected shield. And, and if somebody tries to open that, it will also detect that. So this is, this is beyond anything what we've okay. ever seen before on, on smartphones. 
So for those end users who can't wait to buy this product, I would say go to the website of Bitium and order one. Um, okay, there's much more to say, of course, about this product. For now, there is a lab, and I'm really curious about what's happening in the lab exactly. Let's go to the lab. Okay, so that means I'm now in the testing environment. That's a water test, one meter, and a little bit more than one meter. Tumbler tester of a half a meter, a tumbler tester of a meter. They have multiple climate chambers, one for higher temperatures, lower temperatures. They test up to 98% humidity. Uh, and there is a drop test, and this drop test device can put the device different ways on the suction cups. This way, that way, and that way. So this is a 3D measuring device. You can bend the device in different ways to test the torsion of the product. The Tough Mobile 2 is now being tested to 90 Newtons, which is extreme force. There's not a single sign, and not even a scratch. For now, I'm done. I'm going to the next stage. Oh, by the way, there is also grid testing here. Um, <laughs> that's kind of interesting. I've never seen a grid tester before. All right, that's really the end. Um, next up. Tough Mobile 2. Why are you bringing that product to the market? Well, we know that there's a demand for secure devices. We know that from discussions with customers around our current device. And But the, the, the thing with secure devices is that, is that quite often they might be secure, but they're really difficult to use. And uh, what we have done with this, even, even with the previous device, we brought our, our dual OS and we brought the multi-container just to make this barrier of using a secure device as low mm -hmm. as possible. And what we have done now with the, with the Tough Mobile 2 is that we have, we have invested a lot in, in reducing that barrier even further. So first of all, looking at the design, it is something that you could put in your, in your suit pocket. It fits, fits with the normal use. It's comparable to any, any smartphone on the market today. Okay, so when we talk about customers, who are you aiming at? What are your customers? So, uh, I would say any organization that is conscious about security is, is a target market for this device. But I would like to split them to two, two groups. One of the groups is, is organizations or, or government agencies that are already today using secure devices. And the thing with, with those is that they have a secure device which they trust, but very often it's a device that is only for the security part. So you have it, uh, you have, then you have your private smartphone as a separate device. And what happens is that then quite often the time when you need that smart secure device, it's actually maybe it's in your drawer, it's back at your office or it's, it's discharged or you don't have any batteries. And the other user group that I would like to bring up is, is users that, that, are in, that think about the security. They would like to use a secure device, but they haven't taken that step yet of today because the, the difficulty of using it. So, so they don't want to go into a life where they need to carry two devices. And now with this Tough Mobile 2, we can actually serve both of these groups. So they can, to, they can use this one device, which has the, has the kind of the, the secure, secure element, the security measurements, but still it's usable as a, as a standard smartphone. Uh, I, I like to make this analogy with, with cameras, I think you can relate relate to this this quite well. So if you think about there's this saying that the best camera is the one that you have with you. And the same goes with devices. The most secure device is the one that you have with you. Thank you okay. so much. Thanks. All right, so that sums up my visit here at Bitium. For now, time to travel back to the Netherlands. Let's go home.